How's it going everyone? My name is Cornchip, and welcome back to The Last Promise. We just finished chapter 2, we're moving on to chapter 3, and I'm just gonna get right into it. So, you said you needed more manpower. Yes, you are mercenaries, correct? Yeah, we saw your poster. We're interested. The going offer is currently 500 gold apiece. We have our own weapons, so you don't need to equip us right now. However, you'll have to buy us new weapons should ours break. What do you think? To be honest, it's a pretty low price. But it sounds like a good deal to me, of course. I'll hire you both. Well, when we find something we want to fight for, it's rewarding even without the money. Plus, we'll be staying with you, so we won't have to account for certain expenses that we'd otherwise need to take care of, like food. That's quite true. How nice of you. So, just to clarify, you shall both fight under my command until this campaign is finished. Yeah, when he heard of a former knight recruiting soldiers, we'd figured it'd be a long-lasting job, so we're prepared. You and the poster pretty much confirmed that. Oh yeah, we better tell you our names. I am Shuda, and the last here is Inanna. And as always, I'm sorry if I'm saying those wrong. Well met, sir. Huh, I haven't even given my name either. I'm Siegfried. Welcome to the company, Shuda and Inanna. Thank you, Sir Siegfried. We shall fight our best for you. Father, are you sure it's safe to be hiring mercenaries? These two seem honest enough, Sean. They detest Magnus, just like us. And that's all I need! to recruit people. Besides, we needed soldiers to go on the offensive, yes? Right now we're still in hiding. That attack yesterday only chipped at their defenses. After all, even if this is one of Magnus's least guarded and maintained fortresses, we're only a few people. Two more doesn't make our chances great, but it's still a good improvement. If we're lucky, we may be able to break their lines and seize the fort. Okay, I guess you know best, Father. When are we going out? Just about an hour or so. Hmph, Siegfried, was it? Are you almost finished with this? Magnus has been searching our village these past days to get at your soldiers. As much as we support the rebellion, enough is enough. Just give me a little more time, please. Look, here's your payment for holding... or sorry, for lodging for this entire time. I promise that my group will leave today. Keep the money, just please, go soon. Oh, I forgot I had a cleric. I don't know why. Sir, a group of armed men are approaching. They come from the west, past the southern villages. Gah, it must be those rebel scum that attacked yesterday. And they injured some of our garrison. They hit and run like a bunch of professional cowards. What shall we do? Relay the news to Commander Sid. Have his elite hunting forces come to finish off the rebels. They've come here thinking we're weak, so we must strengthen our army. You mean to send the Golden Spear? Yes, yes, what else could I mean? Gather some extra rations. I'm getting quite hungry. Yes, sir. All units, prefer- prefer? Wow. Prepare for combat. Our enemies are small in number, but at the very least. Hold out until Commander Sid can arrive with reinforcements and food. So they've gotten into formation and everything. Guess Magnus really knows how to greet their guests, eh? There are more soldier- I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm struggling. I mean, I think I always do, but geez. There are more soldiers deployed than before. They, may have, they must have deployed everyone outside and left nothing inside. Well, we took out a number of troops near their garrison towns yesterday. Perhaps they think that they can intimidate us by bringing everything out all at once. Still, even if we manage to defeat their forces, how are we going to get across the bridge? I'm not sure, but the villagers might know of a way. After all, Magnus has to have a way to get across the river without going all the way around. In any case, we can't let it bother us for now. Today, we'll take this fortress full of prisoners. And we'll truly start a rebellion. Okay, so... We have two new units. This is Shuda. Who comes with a red gem, and they're another sword user, which... Kinda wish I'd get something different. But hey, those are nice stats. At least offensively. Shuda is a mercenary of Athea, confident and kind-hearted. I'm not sure whether this is a man or a woman. And then since this was made, like, what, ten years ago, I'm assuming all the characters are going to be men or women, not any other identities. But hey, maybe I'll be wrong. And here's Inanna, who honestly... <laughs> not to say that every blonde and blue-eyed person is related, but she looks like she could be Sean's sister to me. Anyway, she's a Pegasus Knight, a polite and humble mercenary from Alicia in the north. She has a slim lance and javelin and a vulnerary. Alright, and we can't visit this village because that's where we came from. There are a couple villages down here. 
And then here's Jared. Joined war to escape hunger. Escaped death many times, but no longer. It'd be great if I had a mage, because we would absolutely destroy you, but I don't. Oh, well, speaking of mages, last episode Siegfried got this. The, the Nothung? Nothung? I don't know how you're supposed to say it. A preferred sword effective against magic users. So that's pretty cool, even though there aren't any magic users to fight right now. Anyway, I gotta figure out how I want to get started, because there's a lot going on fairly quickly. Like, I'd love to send her in to do something, but she's already in range of this archer, like, no matter where she goes. Or this archer. So, even though I've got a lot of units I could do stuff with, I don't really think any of them are beefy enough to take a ton of attacks, so... I think what I'll do is move Siegfried. I'm just gonna have Corbin come here with a Javelin. And yes, he got that Emblem Lance. It's pretty nice. And uh, I gotta keep an eye out for like a store at some point, but not yet. And then also, I don't think anybody would be able to support, especially because this is like FE7, where I don't know who has supports with one another, and then also they only build it like being next to each other, I think is how all that works, so... Yeah. Hopefully she'll be fine here. What a boring turn this will be. Oh, maybe they are beefy enough to handle a bunch of attacks. I just kind of assumed we weren't. Alright, and I can't even attack the archer. Thanks, dude. <laughs> well, if I can get her experience, that'd be cool. Although she's... Not strong enough. So I guess... Okay, the Javelin's strong enough, but not the Slim Lance. And her animations aren't on. I forgot. Always forget about that. The things I do to not see heals... Heal animations, I mean. I mean, Shooter's level 4. How much do I want to work on them? I mean... Actually, let's, uh... Let's check out the Emblem Lance. Can't kill. Kind of disappointing. <laughs> I shouldn't say disappointing. I just wish he could double. Do you even have a javelin? No. But I can... Oh god, you have a lot of stuff. Uh... <laughs> I just want to get this guy out of the way, please. That's all I want. Thank you. There is one secret on this map. There's just a hidden item. A hidden item I won't be using, but still a hidden item nonetheless. Okay, I'm going to move him, I guess, here. I'm going to have to hope Shuda and Siegfried can handle some attacks. Because they are going to be attacked as they step foot outside of the bridge. And hopefully I don't make a horrible mistake. By going here and attacking... Okay, so I'm assuming Shuda is a dude. Although I doubt they have any super crazy, like, custom... Uh, animations and whatnot, either. Okay, good dodge. I feel better already. Are you gonna double? Oh, you sure are. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, well, if Shooter just dodges everything, then I guess I don't have to worry. Oh, and you have range. And you missed. Very cool. <laughs> oh, you also have range. Clearly I should look at my enemies more before attacking, but... You guys know me, I'm not gonna do that. Who do you think I am? Alright, so if I could get you a kill, that would be pretty neat. So, what can you do, Sean? Kill the archer, which I don't want you to do. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's attack this guy with the lance. Get you some lance combat experience. Nice. Then who needs healing? Shuda got hit, and that's basically it, I think, so...
Oh, her first level. It was fairly decent, but since she can only heal right now, magic is, you know, what I would like to see the most. Wow, Pegasus Knights are very weak to start off. Oh hey, we actually get to see her animation this time. <laughs> well, also she's using a Slim Lance, which are pretty weak as well. But help her double. Because they're so light. Okay, anyway... Can you, like, weaken this person for Shu? Or maybe Shu can just straight up kill. Sorry, Shuda. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I don't know if or when I'll get a prep menu, but I would love to have one. Yeah, I'll do this. If he gets the crit, you know, that's just what Siegfried does sometimes. But he did not. Which is fine, because that means Corbin can kill. With his Emblem Lance. <laughs> he might not have even needed uh, Siegfried to weaken him, actually. Wow, I dodged a 72. I'm having some pretty good luck compared to the bad luck that was last chapter. That was some pretty bad luck. Is this his first level up? I think it might be. It sure is. And it's amazing. At least I think it was pretty good. All right, you decided to go after the Emblem Lance. I don't know why you made that decision, but I'm not gonna argue. One experience away. Can he make it? I don't know. I'm assuming you won't be able to kill anyone still, and if I move you too far, that shouldn't be in the archer's range. I know it would be smart to actually, you know, check, but I'm not gonna do that. And she can't kill either way, so let's just throw a javelin and see what happens. Yay, Inanna! I guess I can keep using Shuda because he is like one of my lowest levels, surprisingly. Oh, and Shuda's in the low crit club. I'm having some pretty significant luck, I would say. Well, actually, I, let's see the level first. Okay, defense I'm cool with. I do like not dying. Why did I think someone took like a ton of damage? Because clearly that's not the case. Oh, and I also just realized that there is the green text in this, so there's that. Okay, so Corbin does not need everything in his inventory. I would love to just use that vulnerability and get rid of it. Hmm. And Sean has a full inventory that he doesn't really need either. I'll figure it out in a second. Let's go ahead and let him kill this Pegasus Knight. I don't care how weak they are, I love having weapons without durability. Alright, more strength is cool, but you know, I really love for my... my boys Sean and Corbin to get more speed. Oh, this guy's... oh, because she threw the javelin at him, right. I was about to say, like, holy crap, he's only at, uh, two health. I can feed a kill to my Pegasus Knight. I can't. She's the one who got him to two. Alright, I guess I'll just go ahead and do another heal. Get that experience for her. And Siegfried, uh... Yeah, I guess you're fine here. Wait, which one's... this one's Sean. Let's go ahead and take this elixir from you. Oh, are you gonna double? I kinda hope not. Dang it. Come on, Magnian, why would you go to your death like that? Think, Magnian, think! 
Okay, so if I come forward, I'll be attacked by like three or four different people. But I might just do it anyway. Although the only people who can reach are Sean and then Corbin with a javelin that I will take from Sean. Yeah, I want to get him more lance. Dur durability, that is not the right word. Proficiency? Weapon experience? Whatever you want to call it. I want it. I want it, I got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here, you can have this vulnerary. I don't, I don't want it. Alright, don't miss an 81, please. Thanks. And then we'll just keep bringing people over, I guess. I'd love for someone to just get, like, weakened a tiny bit. Sorry, by that I mean one of the enemies. I don't want our team to get weakened at all. Okay, there are no archers that are going to hurt her, so I can move her there. And feel cool with it. And she's also safe to come over here. I kind of expected that, because you were going to be at disadvantage, but I'm cool with it. But like I said, I was hoping I would be able to like weaken and not kill people, so my Pegasus Knight could maybe get another kill. But shoot us pretty fast, he might just double everything. Especially when they have a steel weapon. Alright, fine, Shuda. You get all the kills then. See if I care. Clearly I do care. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but on the bright side, I get more healing experience. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna send Siegfried to this village, because, well... Hmm. She can go to this one, because I just need to make sure I have inventory space. You guys want to cross the river, do you? Well, if that annoying knight wasn't guarding the secret lever, I could put up the bridge for you. I suppose if you defeat him, come back here and I'll see what I can do about it. Well, that's kind of annoying. In the sense that I really don't want to have to go back. Also, I didn't realize the fact that this is blocked off by cliffs, so I really can't... Uh, get over there with anyone right now, either. Corbin and Sean have, like, effective weapons against this guy, though. I'm assuming the Emblem Lance. Eh. It blinks against, like, everyone. I don't know if it's actually doing effective damage. But the Piercing Sword... Yes. It does. I don't know if Sean needed to kill this guy, but it's fine. Was there supposed to be, like, dialogue there? That was kind of weird. Alright, bad level. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could have been worse, but I'm gonna call it a bad level. Alright, villager, do your work now. Alright, I'll put up the bridge for you guys. After you cross it, there'll be one more bridge, and then the commander of this prison himself. Trust me, we don't enjoy Magnus having their soldiers patrolling us every hour of the day and every day of the week. We'll gladly do whatever we can to help you out. Okay, for a second I thought I would have to, like, defend that guy, and I was like, please, no. Okay, so she has the inventory space. Okay. Well, even though I want to get her experience, she's going to be on, like, village duty and secret duty as well. So there's that. Of course, she can't reach the village yet or the secret spot. So, that's a bummer. Okay, she can heal Sean up for me. She's already pretty close to her next level, and this guy has a ranged weapon, which is lame. Who has the javelin now? You do? I guess that's fine. Let the armor guy come fight you. Ah, oh, well, I take this turn very slowly, and it's really boring and icky, I, I know. I don't remember what the game said about seeing your ratings. Did it say anything about seeing your ratings? I don't even know anymore. Okay, so I believe there's a secret on this spot here, but we'll go to the village first. Oh, hello there. It's rare we get visitors who aren't soldiers. Most people don't know about this village. Or this area in general. For instance, I heard that someone left some- oh, this is the secret. Some precious item on top of that cliff for over a year, and no one's yet to find it. Speaking of finding things, if you ever find yourself lost, 
Use this torch to light your way for some time. Oh, I don't like that, because that means we're going to have uh, a Fog of War chapter soon. Yep, that's the secret in Elys Elysian, Elysian, whatever, whip. Oh wait, he didn't come attack? Huh. I don't know why I like just processed that, but yeah, he didn't come attack me, which is pretty lame of you, dude. What's the deal? Little baby? Ouch. Corbin, you're not supposed to take damage, dang it. Oops. <laughs> I feel like I'm fighting with Corbin and Sean too much, but... Oh well, I guess. Also, I'm not dodging anymore. I guess that's our latest strategy. Let me double check that nobody could for some reason hit her. If I put her here and it doesn't look like it... We'll just cram in here like idiots, why not? Javelin fight! Emblem Lance fight. Well, the other guy doesn't have an Emblem Lance, but I do. And it's doing a lot to this guy. And he's dead. I know I checked out the boss, but I don't know if I even looked at what weapon he has. So let's find out. Steel sword and then a javelin. Okay. So what you're telling me is Emblem Lance will do wonders. Not really, actually. But... I guess... Let's see what you can do with your piercing sword. Also really not that great. Huh. Alright, well anyway. I would like to heal Sean again. I say let's do this because even if he hits me, it should still be fine. He might switch to a javelin. So, I don't know. I might have messed up actually. Fight with all your might. But I shall not die. Actually, this is a steel sword, isn't it? So the javelin should not do more damage than a steel sword. And I dodge anyway. Alright, and then we can go ahead and heal up Sean. Get that good experience for Tamiko. You can't really do anything- well... Let's dump off at least one item, so you don't have a full inventory. Like, here you go, here's a torch, you're welcome. Who else has full inventory? You do. But then... Oh, she has a javelin. I forgot she got one from the village. Well, shoot. Corbin could take that. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have full inventories pretty soon, which is not great. Speaking of... I mean, sure. Maybe seven more damage. Nope, I missed. That's fine. And then if he got the javelin, I could even attack more, but he doesn't have it. Will Jared attack with a steel sword or the javelin? He opted for the steel sword and missed. And I hit, which is great. If I could somehow get you the kill, that would be cool, but I highly doubt you could do that. Especially since I'd have to wait yet another turn. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> yeah, let's just... I guess let Corbin have the kill, assuming he hits. Maybe he'll miss. He did not miss. I, I shall not die. Ugh. He says as he dies. Eh, not a good level. Bummer. And I have to seize with you, I'm pretty sure, and we're done. We've won our first real battle against Magnus. As you suspected, there are several prisoners. They all look like Athenians and Elysians. We even fought some Pegasus knights. So perhaps the captured Elysians got bribed to fight with Magnus. In any case, what shall we do with them? Well, we've not enough manpower to hold this place down, so... Release them and let them go free. Alright, Sir Siegfried. What the? Wait, you come back! New unit? Oh, nope. Mm, no, let me go! Ha, one of the Magnian scrubs. Tell me something, grunt. 
What is the purpose of Magnus's invasions? Why would the Grunt know this? The real purpose, not just rumors and other nonsense. I'm well aware that he wants total domination. Tell me more. What does he have to gain from ruling the entire continent? Guess I have no use for you then. Corbin, come here and take this guy out for me. Ah, okay, sir. I don't know anything. I just joined last month because they forced me to. Honestly, I'm just a grunt, like you said. I'm sorry. That's what I figured. Indeed, that seems highly unlikely. Well, tell me, why did your leader not deploy everyone in the last battle? What was the point of keeping just a few soldiers inside here? It's not like splitting his forces would have helped him in battle. Captain Jared wanted some people inside to guard our prisoners of war. He said that if they lost, the prisoners should be killed. But that's all I heard, honestly. I mean, do you believe that guys like me get any top secrets? Hmph, <laughs> alright. Soldier, you can go now, okay? Go get a hobby or something. <laughs> go touch some grass, dude. Thank you! Father, one of the prisoners wishes to speak with you. New unit now? Oh. Whoa, she has heterochromia. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. You're the guy? Who might you be? Oh, it is Sir Siegfried. Thank you for saving us. We're also Magnian rebels. Unfortunately, one of Magnus' highest generals found our hideout. Although he captured all of us, not a single one was killed. He was exceedingly kind to us for an enemy. Siegfried, not all the Magnian soldiers are bad people. I want you to know. Some of them just have their reasons, and those reasons are misunderstood. I'll put those words in my mind for now. But that doesn't explain why those reasons can't be told. And even then, what could justify such violence and cruelty? I refuse to believe that this war is justified. Regardless, what are you all planning to do? Well, most of the men are nomads from Fora, and are going back to their tribe to regroup. Last we know, Chief Haas had his forces spread out, resisting the other tribes that have betrayed Athea. You should go and meet with Chief Haas. That sounds like a good idea, thank you. And another thing, I would beware of crossing the borders. I overheard some soldiers discussing reinforcements from Commander Sid. Are you not going to join me? Understood. Sean, we're going with those men to meet with Chief Haas. Right now, Athea's tribes are unable to work together against Magnus. We need to support the only tribe that is, Fora, before they're taken out by the other traitorous tribes. Gather the necessary supplies from the fort's armory. All right, father. Good. Now, Anana, fly up and search the fort's perimeter. Shuda, make preparations to defend the gate. I'll do my best. I'll take care of the defenses. Good. Once all our preparations are finished, we'll be able to go. Oh no, it is fog after- or it's just nighttime. It's already evening. And Anna, did you see anyone? Uh-huh. About a mile from here, there's a camp with the flag of Magnus. From what I could see, most of them are horsemen, with some shaman. Ugh. They'll be onto us by mid-morning. Damn it, how could they be so close in such a short time? We don't have much choice, then. Burn everything we can't take for ourselves to the ground. We're about to leave this place. I'll inform Shuda and Sean. Hey, I forgot to ask you. What is your name? Oh, you are with us. My name? It is Gallagher. Gallagher. That's a rather unique name. But don't mind me. Well met, Gallagher. Gallagher. I'm gonna say Gallagher. Okay, I honestly don't know why it's not showing any save data for me, but... Oh well. I never skipped the saving, so I don't know what the deal is there. Hopefully I don't lose anything. Chapter 4, Tides of Greed. Uh, you know what? I'll just go through the dialogue. Why not? I don't think we're going to get a prep screen, but it's fine. Lord Siegfried, we are all getting closer to Fora. By the end of the day, you'll surely be kindly greeted. Thank you so much for your assistance, Sir Gallagher. Besides helping us bolster our army, you've brought us to someone we hope will be an ally. There must be a way to repay you. There is no reason to be thanking me. After all, you were the one who rescued us. Consider it our way to repay you. Well, if that's what you wish, now, let us continue on. I apologize for my abrupt timing, however. I'm afraid this is where we part ways. No! I have to leave to Yulia to meet up with someone. Also, I heard that the Emperor's former bodyguard, now a general of Magnus, has been moving about Athea in Valencia, killing his... Er, I don't know where I read killing... with his men. <laughs> they say that he is second in leadership only to the three Imperial generals. Apparently, while the Imperial generals are fighting against Blaine, to the southeast and tying loose ends, this general is maintaining the Magnian domination over Valencia. That sounds quite frightening. Perhaps we'll see you at Yulia when we go to retake it. Stay alive, Gallagher. I appreciate your concern, but you needn't worry. Oh, and another thing you might want to know before I leave. The Forens have gone all out to resist Magnus' invasion, but many other tribe leaders are in fact supporting Magnus. Didn't we already kind of know that? 
The uncertainty over this is going to become hard to going to be hard to overcome. I heard that Gorn in particular has completely sided with Magnus. It may prove to put actions to their feelings. Oh, and I can't see. I hate this. Whoa, you look kind of cool. Now, you said that the rebel army is coming up here to contact Fora. Bah, you aren't much of a speaker, Sir Kevin. Why did they send you anyways? I'm a knight, too. I and these plainsmen can handle a pesky bunch of ragtags. I was sent to keep an eye on you and the nomads. To make sure that no one betrays Magnus. Ha! Betray Magnus? You forget their honor, their honor, or rather their lack of it. As long as the Gorn tribe gets paid, they can be manipulated to do whatever we want them to. Ah. Cheer up, boy. I will personally be firing the first arrow. Right at their leader. Now go and notify the others. Yes, lady. Gah, my goodness, that knight is ugly. <laughs> okay. Did General Howard send him just to contrast with my beauty? Blast, it's getting dark already. Just a little more and we'll be in safe grounds. This isn't good. At this rate, it'll take until well into the night. I'm pretty tired, too. Yeah, the new recruits don't seem to be very mobile. Their time in prison probably exhausted them, mentally and physically. Regardless, we have to press on. Something wrong? No, I thought I heard the sound of a ballista. Oi, watch out! What? Gah, an arrow! It looks like the kind of arrows the nomads use. Keep it alert, everyone! This darkness makes it harder for us to see them. It will prove much more difficult to fight. Oh, you're talking about having people, but we didn't get any new units. Now we're going against the Gorn... Gornians? Gorn... Gorn people. I don't know. Anyway, this is Chapter 4, and we will continue with this next time. So anyway... Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode, so consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club, and I will see you all next time. Bye!